Yes, we're here to recognize people who recognize, oh, there they are, to recognize pride in our school, professionalism, respect, involvement, diversity, and excellence. And let's give a big shout out to Nicholas Putney from Miss Alexander. Yay! We got Savannah Dupra from Miss Keebler. Yay! Hey, we got, oh, we dropped him. Five seconds. Hey, we got uh, Samit Rajija from Mr. Gluski. Yay! Uh, Lexi Sattler from Elizabeth Phillips. Yay! We got Emma Jankwin from Stella Costco. Yeah! We got Clara De, De Sosa from Mr. Gluski. Yeah! Hey, whew, puberty at 54. We got Iron Jefferson at Miss Corbett. Yay! Hey, we got Ariana Markham from Mrs. Stoker. Yay! We got Miss Fom from Miss Carucci. Yay! And Vaughn Ladley from Miss Filner. Yay! Hey, go to the musical this weekend, man. It was awesome. I went last night. The entire crew cast did a great job. I want to give them a double fist pump and a hip check. Yeah! All right, who loves you, ESM? Richie does. All right, have a great weekend. Peace. Good morning, ESM. As always, I'm Luke. And I'm John. Today's show is all about what we do best. Sports. Four years ago, a team of scientists in Texas were close to developing a coronavirus vaccine. They needed additional funding for human testing. However, the money dried up and they did not receive the additional funds. As of today, the vaccine is still sitting in the freezer and is nowhere close to commercial production than it was four years ago. Scientist Peter Hotez from Houston, Texas, believes the vaccine could have provided cross-protection against the most recent version of the coronavirus. Dr. Anthony from the National Institute of Health said in an interview, the thing that's sobering is that it's not a vaccine we're going to have next month, so we're going to have to tough it out through this evolution. Please stand up. Oh. The state of Alabama just executed one of its inmates through lethal injection, who was charged with capital murder of three male police officers back in 2004, was pronounced dead Thursday night after a controversial debate between his fate. Alabama Governor Kay Ivey did not make an attempt to stop this injection from happening. However, attempts were made by Wood's attorney, who tried to block the Supreme Court from their decision, claiming Woods to be absolutely innocent. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Senior Variety Show, thank you to everyone who's been staying after to write and help come up with script ideas. If you are writing a script, script please turn it into the classroom by Sunday night. If you have not been able to attend the after school meetings, it is not too late. We will start meeting next week, Monday through Friday, from 7 to 9 p.m. All seniors are not only welcomed, but highly encouraged to attend. Joe Kopp was the winner of the Money in the Bank pay-per-view for the Spartan Basketball Universe. He muscled his way through the other 35 co competitors to become the winner. Joe can surprise the Universal Champion with a match for the Universal title at any upcoming Wednesday afternoon session he chooses. Want a little magic in your life? Come see Spartan Stage's production of Rogers and Hammerstein's Cinderella today, March 6th, and Saturday, March 7th at 7 p.m. in the auditorium, with an additional matinee performance on Saturday at 2 p.m. Tickets are reserved seating and can be purchased at esmchsbooktickswithanx.com. So like we said, we're talking about sports today and spring sports specifically. And to help us out, we interviewed some of the coaches of some of these sports. The thing I'm looking forward to most this spring is actually getting outside because I'm sick of being inside with uh, track. We're hoping to defend our league title and uh, we're hoping to have a lot more success. Uh, John. Why should people join track? We take everybody. As long as you work hard, it doesn't matter about your talent level, we'll find a place for you. Uh, you'll be able, there's guaranteed playing time. Um, people can try different events. It's fun. We have lots of uh, different people on the team. And you'll have a good time. 
I'm really looking forward to some senior leadership. They've been on the team for uh, five or six years, and I'm looking forward to that. And we have some young players, some seventh, eighth, and ninth graders that are very athletic, so I'm looking forward to a girls' golf season um, where we get to develop that. And hopefully this year we get outdoors because we only practiced uh, one time last year outdoors. The entire rest of the season we were indoors, and that was painful. Um, why should people join a sport? Um, sports teach a great deal of um, life lessons, so it's really uh, important to join a sport. But uh, the most underused scholarship in all of college is girls golf. So if I were sitting there, I would join girls golf because it opens the door to many, many colleges. All right, so what am I looking forward to uh, in the spring? Uh, first of all, I'm looking forward to some nice weather, getting outside. Um, you know, love coaching baseball. I truly enjoy working with these young men. Um, the idea of competition and uh, developing uh, a, a, a good team. Um, I'm really looking forward to you know, getting outside and having some fun with these guys. Why should people get involved in sports? Um, just like any extracurricular activity, whether it's art or drama or music, uh, sports um, develop a, a sense of community. Um, I, I truly believe that building that family uh, relationship with other teammates is extremely important. Um, it's a lot of fun. It gives you something to do, and you know, it, it's guys going out there and, and having a lot of fun and hanging out with each other. Good morning, everyone, and happy Friday. Tomorrow, I hate to say it, but we have expected morning snow showers with a high of 21. Sunday will be mostly cloudy with a high of 32. Monday and Tuesday, there will be mid-rain showers in the high to mid to low 40s. Wednesday will warm up to 50 with expected rain showers. Thursday will have snow with a little bit of mixed rain and some more snow with a high of 37. I'm Bella with your weather. Dan, what two normal things would be weird if you did them back to back? Probably riding a bike and eating a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. I would say like putting on your clothes and then showering. Brushing your teeth and eating chocolate. Cereal before milk. Putting cereal in a bowl and then washing the dish. Taking a shower and then going swimming. Brush your teeth and then drink orange juice. Shoveling your driveway before it snows. Putting on your shoes, then your socks. Welcome back. So, those sports were pretty interesting, but let's hear about some more. So, besides those sports, we also have boys and girls lacrosse, softball, and tennis. And remember, just because you haven't done a sport before doesn't mean you can't try one now. Unless you're John, and the only sports you do is talking about them on the show. Hey, 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 that's not true. My sport is running. Okay, so... A real sport, but I, like, yeah. Just Listen, Luke, I'd like to see you try and do what I can do. I do. I, uh, I run. But speaking of sports, let's go to Christmas sports. The Syracuse women's basketball team defeated Virginia in the first round of the ACC tournament yesterday. They play number one seed Louisville today at 2 p.m. The Lakers have reportedly signed Deion Waiters yesterday with their open spot. LeBron James and Deion Waiters team up again after being on the same team five years ago. Waiters is averaging 9.3 points a game with 47% shooting from three. The Lakers hope with the signing of Waiters, he will help them push their playoff push. I'm Chris with Sports. So now that you all know all about the spring sports we have to offer, Luke, you going to do any sports? Yeah, actually, I'm going to run track. Oh, no way, so am I. What events are you going to do? Mid-distance and a little bit of long distance. What? Dude, I'm doing long distance. We can, like, totally hang out. It'll be sick. Great. But from me and John and everyone else here at the morning show, have a great day. <laughs> 